Hello, <laughs> my name is Marin, and I am a senior from Duchenne. Thank you. <laughs> and this poem is called The Natural Look. When people tell me I have resting witch face, I am not allowed to be offended. Instead, I am expected to apologize for looking like hardened cement, rough in all the places that are supposed to be silky tenderness, stuck like that. When I ask why, I'm not given a response. Just the reassurance that it's true, and I can only guess the answer feature by feature. Dissecting my face like a lifeless frog, is it my eyes? Dark as loneliness, but wide as motherly open arms, they could be welcoming if eye contact wasn't so difficult. Eyebrows that are long and aggressive and natural, chin a somehow offensive bump in the road, no. My still upper lip is not snarling at your face. Is it the fact that I try to smile only when I mean it? My face is not a light switch for the general public's use. It is not a puppet strung out to be tickled and tricked into acting giggly when it's not, while a man with the same partly cloudy demeanor as mine would be labeled brooding and mysterious and sexy, yet I am branded a tight-lipped, firm-nosed, serrated-eyed witch. No one stops to wonder if just maybe this visage is too easily betrayed by emotion, struggling from spilling avalanches of grief and corkscrew anxiety and flustered romanticism that are not for everyone to see. I remember telling my mom what they said about my face and when her anger upon first learning the concept of resting witch face sizzled like a cigarette thrown on gasoline, I tried to convince her that it was funny, that it wasn't unfair, that it wasn't a disgrace to the 18 plus years she had spent telling me I was beautiful all over all the time. It might have been the first time I didn't defend myself, and it probably won't be the last, but the next time someone tells me I have resting witch face, I won't ask why. Because my face knows itself better than you do, will never stretch its cheeks too wide for your approval, I will simply say thank you without a single trace of a smile because my face has never been for you.